we're excited to see what's next for Aging 2.0 and for the entrepreneurs who are working in this space and their ability to really change the trajectory of aging and the quality of life and the quality of care for people as they age. Aging 2.0 is really about our innovation for the 50 plus and our mission is to connect, educate and support the innovators uh, targeting this market. This is the kickoff event for The Generator, uh, which we're really excited about participating in, specifically because there's so many mentors and great people who are in the space who can provide really great feedback um, and help us with our product market fit and a host of other things um, related to CareSolver. I thought it was a lot of fun. I think a lot of people learned a great deal about the different uh, people in The Generator group and hopefully they can help the team. I think all of us are asking for roughly the same thing, which is distribution. It always comes back to, I've got this great idea, I really think it can do a good job. How do I get it out there? How do I get it in front of the people who need it? The thing that's been really exciting is the increasing quality and quantity of the startups that we've been seeing. It was a phenomenal experience, a really great way to meet uh, the people who've been supporting Aging 2.0 and the Generator program. So that leads us to the generator, which we're excited to be officially launching tonight. Um, we put out a press release this morning announcing the 11 startups that are in the class, and a press release last week announcing the launching of the program, which is the first of its kind in the world. Um, we're very excited, and we're excited to be here and housing it at the Institute on Aging. Well, uh, in one word, it's humbling. Well, the event today was fascinating. Who was the best speaker today, you think? Probably you. Oh, okay. It was good. No, look, there are a fantastic number of companies, hugely diverse and very exciting. All the range from hardware to software to data mining to brain games. It was really interesting and, and a really good uh, event. You know, there's a lot going on in healthcare generally, but we feel like as Aging 2.0, we have an opportunity and an obligation to highlight key areas that we think might be being missed by some of the traditional focus on congestive heart failure and diabetes, which are important in getting a lot of focus, but there's key issues of the geriatric conditions that we think are being missed. And Cognitive is obviously a huge one. There's other issues, um, you know, all the glamorous things like incontinence and falls and all these good things are huge problems. And so we think it's important for us to support entrepreneurs that are working on them. This kickoff event for uh, the generator was uh, really very exciting uh, for us to see the other companies that we're um, going to be going through this with. The, the event today was absolutely wonderful. Um, I've been fortunate enough to be at one of the first ever Aging 2.0 uh, meetups when there's maybe about 10 or 15 people in the room uh, where I got to meet Katie and Steven. And it's absolutely amazing how far they've come in, in just a short period of time from rooms with 100 plus people uh, all the way up to where we are today, uh, where we have a great group of mentors, investors, people who really care about uh, the aging space. Um, and this is an absolutely much needed thing. Uh, there's plenty of incubators and organizations for you know, the next Instagram or the next photo sharing app. But what, what a lot of people don't realize is that we need something like this for the aging population. Um, and most people won't ever think about it until it's too late and their loved one actually goes through this. So it's great that they're bringing awareness to the space. It was great. I mean, there's a lot of interesting startups in the space, a lot of good advisors and, and mentors, and we're looking forward to um, having them be part of the team and helping us, you know, change the way that healthcare is delivered. Well, uh, we're really excited to be part of innovation and, and work with you to understand how do we how do we change that and um, turn kind of what is fear for a lot of people to hope.